Hello everyone, I'm Brandon Larkin and welcome back to Geometry Day. So today we're going to be doing Sharp Minor by Jerome David and A Sonic Man. And uh, yeah, this is arguably going to be my hardest 9 circles level. What the hell? Okay, that was weird, there was a bit of a delay in my jumping then. Uh, yeah, this is uh, it's a pretty annoying level, but it's one of my favourites to be honest, just because of music. I don't really like the music at the drop, but I like this part until the drop. The drop sounds kind of weird, you know, with like the high-pitched noises, but whatever, right, we're doing it anyway. So it might take me a while, I still haven't decided whether this is harder than Fairy Dust or not. I think that it is in some respects, like this beginning bit's definitely harder than Fairy Dust. Uh, you got this memorization ball here, hoping not to die here too much. Okay, there we go. So this is my favourite part of the song, this part's awesome. And yeah, it's still annoying as- wait, I've died there twice. Uh, yeah, it's still annoying as hell when you die there though. Don't get me wrong, what the hell has happened to my- Alright, so I don't know if um, the beginning went funny then. If it did, then I apologise. Also, yeah, I'm trying a new- I'm trying a new uh, way of recording, so I don't exactly know what it's gonna be like. If it's bad, I apologise. If it's so bad that it's like unseeable, I'll probably just beat it again. Uh, but yeah, we'll see really uh, what happens. This, the UFO is probably the worst part. It's annoying as hell. This part, it's got some. Uh, Annoying timings, to say the least. Okay, here we go. Let's try not to die on this cube this time. Although this cube is probably my favourite part, I still die here all the time, so whatever. Okay, it looks like I've done it this time. Here we go, drop. Ah, oh, 58. So uh, we got pretty far through the drop then, got past the part I thought I would die on, if anywhere. Oh god, so I've um... Basically I've got it working on another monitor now, as well. But that one's HDMI, which means that I can use my Elgato, and I don't know if it'll still be screen tearing or what. I don't know how it works, I am slowly trying to find ways, um... Yeah, trying to find ways to not get screen tearing, but whether I will or not anytime soon is a different story. I mean, I know how to do it, but it's just the money, really. I mean, I don't have enough money to get a better graphics card, because I have to do um, I have to record on my laptop and play on my computer, which is what makes the screen tearing, because it's 60 hertz on my laptop, and it can't keep up with 144 hertz, which is basically why the tearing's bad. There's also been another problem with 720p60, like, everyone's videos, or as I've seen, I don't know if it's like it for everyone, but, um, for me, everyone's videos have gone into only 720p30. I don't know if that's just me or whether anyone else is getting that problem. Hopefully it's going to get sorted out soon, though, but all my videos, um, as I've seen, have all gone into 720p, so... I don't know about that, I apologise if anything has happened, hopefully YouTube will sort itself out eventually. Basically, I'm having a lot of problems with recording. But, you know what? Screw it, I don't care. Ah, that part's like the most annoying part in my opinion. It's kind of annoying timing, you know, it doesn't really make any sense. Four minutes into recording. Nice! Uh, Kill me. I literally hold on. I'm gonna check something right now because uh I literally don't know if I'm in Okay, I am in 144 Hertz. No. Okay, trail off. What am I doing? Here we go. Okay, sharp minor. Let's do this everyone, we can do it. Eventually. Okay, I've not really been killed by that before until 
I've started recording, so that's what made me suspect that I might not be in 144 hertz, but maybe it's just me being retarded. Who knows? Probably me being retarded, you know, um, considering uh, the past of me being retarded. So, I hate. I mean, we already know how much I hate UFOs it is, I mean, I hate any UFO, as I've said. Just because it's really inconsistent. It's never the same, it's always slightly different, no matter what. No matter how much you sit and practice it, it's never exactly the same path. I'm sure everyone can agree on, with me on that. Some UFOs aren't as annoying as others, but... This one wins a prize for the most autistic UFO ever, okay. Or does it? I don't know, you let me know. Let me know if there's any other UFO parts that might be worse. You know, Infrared's Asonic Men's UFO was pretty annoying. For some reason I feel like Asonic Men made this part because you know the UFO and everything. Ah! I always get angry at 9 circle levels, I don't know why I decided that I wanted to do every single one, but whatever. <laughs> YOLO. So I might not be able to get Acropolis up tomorrow because, you know, it's Acropolis. And I've not played it much, to be honest. Not as much as I should have really been playing it, but not at the time, not my fault. Like I say, by June time, I'm going to be a lot more chilled out on my exams over for the year. Oh, come on! Holy shit! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Sharp minor complete. Damn. Woo! That was awesome. GG to me. Okay, got a bit of a glitch then when I clicked. I've been getting a lot of glitches with response uh, lately. Maybe it's this recording technique, who knows. Okay, here we go. So like I say, sorry if this is bad, I guess I'll beat you again if it's so bad that it's unseeable, but if you can see it but it's still pretty bad then you'll know why and I'll do it differently next time. That's all I can tell you really. Calculator's just loading up. Okay, here we go. 293 plus Three nine one. That's not a lot, actually, for me. Six hundred eighty-four attempts, and that's probably about the same difficulty as Fairy Dust for me, if not harder. Definitely not easier than Fairy Dust. So uh, yeah, tomorrow. Um, well, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I mean, it's a weekend, so I'll probably get it done. But got a crop list. I'm gonna practice it tonight, and hopefully get it done tomorrow. I don't know though. I haven't even learned the first cube yet. I mean, I've learnt the rest of it, you know, I've done, I think I've done 25 to 100, which is the best I've done, and then, need to learn the beginning part, and then I'll be all good, but, yeah, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Geometry Dash, and until next time, thanks for watching, bye.